Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll be going over another one of my random casual six card decks. Uh, this is actually my restructure of that Lord of the Rings orc uh, starter deck kind of thing that they end up giving. Well, that were like, they like dual deck kind of thing. One side was, you know, the orcs, the other one was like the halfling food token stuff. Uh, anyways, I'm I have like reworked it to focus more on the orc kind of aspect of it. And with that being said, let me just kind of get into this and show you what we're working with. Uh, first off, we're with four copies of Sauron the Dark Lord. Uh, it's a 7 6 uh, ward of sacrifice legendary artifact or legendary creature. Whenever a punk casts a spell, a mass orc one. Uh, whenever an army you control deals combat damage to a player, the ring tempts you. And whenever the ring tempts you, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw four cards. Next up, we have three copies of Sauron, Lord of the Rings. It's a 9-9. Nine, nine. Whenever you cast the spell, mass orc five, mill five cards... Then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield as trample. And then, oh, okay, yeah, whenever command. Okay, then that last part doesn't matter because it's not in a commander deck. Right. Next up, we have three copies of Dunlin Sherpin, or the weird bird horror thingies. Anyways, they're uh, 1 1 flying when. Darlan Servan enters the battlefield, mass orcs two. Uh, next up, we have Morris Scavenger. Two of them, which it's a one four with death touch and haste. You can tap it, discard a card, draw a card. If a card discards this way was a Creature card, a mass orcs one. Okay, I just kind of slide these off to the side. Next up, we have two copies of. Oh, let's see if I can even pronounce this. Uh, Gr Grisanachak or Brash in Instigator. Alright, well, it's a 1-1 one, one when the Brash Instigator here uh, enters the battlefield. The mass orcs 2. Uh, when you do, until in a turn, gain control of target non-legendary creature and opponent controls with power less than or equal to the mass army's power. On top of that creature, it gains haste until in a turn. So, two copies of that in here. Now we've got two copies of our War Beast of... Gorgar Roth. Uh, it's a 5 4. Whenever War Beast of Gargaroth or another creature you control with power 4 greater dies, Mass Orcs 2. Next up, we have two copies of Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant. Uh, it's a 3 3. When Morgog, Morgul, Lieutenant, or my bad, Guthmar, Mog, whatever, um, enters the battlefield, Mass Orcs, one, on uh, creature tokens you control have Death Touch. Uh, next up, we have two copies of Cursors of Ur. Cursors, Cursors of Umbar. Uh, so 3-3, three, three. you can pay 2 and a blue, uh, target goblin, orc, or pirate, can't be blocked this turn. And whenever Crusaders, Crusaders of Umbar deals combat damage to a player, amass orcs 3. Next up here, we got two copies of... Mordor Trib Trebuchet. No, um, 
it's a 1-4 defender. Whenever you attack with one or more goblins and or orcs, create a 2-1 colorless construct, construct artifact creature token with flying named Ballistic Boulder. That's tapped and attacking. Sacrifice that token at the end of combat. And some singletons here. The Mouth of Sauron. It's a 3-4. When Mouth of Sauron enters the battlefield, target player mills three cards. Then a mass orcs X, where X is the number of instant sorcery cards in that player's graveyard. And then lastly for our creatures, we have Malhar Uruk Hai Captain. It's a 2 2 menace. If one or more plus plus one cars would be put onto an army, goblin, or orc you control, that may plus one, plus one, plus one counters would be put on it instead. Now, move on to our spells here. We have three copies of Mordor Muster. Draw a card and you lose one life. Mass Orcs one. Two copies of Orcish Medicine. Which target creature gains your choice of lifelink or indestructible on a turn. Mass Orcs one. Two copies of Fall of Cal Andros. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt uh, excess combat damage, mass orcs X, where X is that excess damage. And you can pay seven and a red. Fall of Car, Car and Andros deals seven damage to target creature. Next up, we've got two copies of Freyth of Orcs. Uh, mass Orcs 2. If you do, Freyth of Orcs deals X damage to target creature and opponent controls, where X is the Mass Army's power. Then we got two copies of the Torment of Gollum. Uh, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. The player discards that card. And a mass orcs too. Uh, next we have two copies of uh, Surrounded by Orcs. Uh, mass orcs three. Then target player mills X cards where X is the massed army's power. And then a few singletons here. We have Book of Malzabal. Uh, first effect, a Mass Orc 1. Second effect, a Mass Orc 2. And third effect, uh, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, oh, and gain mass until I turn. Treason of Eschengard. Or, um... Put up to one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. Mass Orcs 2. And lastly, we have Swarming of Mora. Create a treasure token. Mass Orcs 2. Down to our lands, we have five mountains, six swamps. Three islands, a well, four copies of Crossus Catacombs, which Crossus Catacombs on this battlefield. Sacrifice unless you return a non-layer land you control to the owner's hand, and be tapped for a blue, black, or red. And then lastly, two copies of Barad Brad Duar. Uh, Bradurar enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary creature. You can tap a tad of black mana or pay 
XX in a black. Tap it. Amass Orcs X. Activate only if a creature died this turn. And with that, that sh should bring this Orc deck to a close here. I want to thank you all for joining me for this video. Hope you enjoyed a little peek into another one of my decks. I really hope you join me in the next video. Peace.